Yeah, we thank everybody, all and sundry, all over the part of the world uh, for uh, their feedbacks about the movie Kembe Sonu. We received different testimonies from many quarters, uh, but we cannot bring everything on board because some of them had issues with um, audio, some of them had issues with um, uh, picture quality. So we could only select uh, but a few that um, we can manage. But before you begin to see the testimonies of uh, everybody about the movie, I want to just talk briefly about uh, my experience uh, with the Holy Spirit while writing the movie Kembe Sonu. Kembe Sonu was not just um, my head knowledge, was not what I, I just sat down to do. No, no. It's, it was... Um, it was an inspiration, it was an, um, a feeling of God's presence. That even the same impacts people have with the movie is the same impact I had with the movie. I watched the movie to every Sunday with everybody. The fun fact is that I've, I don't really have time to preview these movies when we release them. It's not as if I've watched them before we release them, no. Once it just comes to me from the editor, we put it online so i also wait by 12 o'clock to also watch with everybody who are also watching the movie along with us and it has been a great blessing we thank god for what god has done and what god we yet do uh, as um, we continue to be faithful and we focus on his presence in in the ministry thank you very much for watching god bless you as you also listen uh, to other testifiers of uh, about Kembeson. Thank you. Good everyone, my name is um, Joshua Ladejo. I'm the bearer of Kembe Sonu. Actually, it's a great privilege to be part of this great movie, Kembe Sonu. I will never take it for granted. I love the man that produced the movie, the person of Femi Adebile, a very talented man, anointed, filled with the Holy Spirit. I pray that more grace to Fejus Baba, more grace to the writer, more grace to the producer, and to the TV crew. All of you are very, very awesome. Now, there is something I want to tell you. There is something I want to tell you. And it's about, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm hearing this about saying something about Kembe Son season six. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But sometimes, when I shall go, you say, ah, this thing's supposed to have happened. I'm not sure this one. I've not done this one. I should have included this. I, I don't know. But he has been saying it. Can be on season six. It seems God is saying something about it. I'm not sure. But just prepare your mind that there will be something, there may be something called, called Can be on season six. Let's, don't let me say let us anticipate. Let us pray. Let's continue praying for this man. He has been the one producing all these things, writing all these things. It's not easy. It's not easy. Let us keep praying for him. Let's keep praying for the ministry at large. Let's keep praying for the producer. Let's keep praying for everybody associated with this brand. It's not easy. Please, we need your prayers. We need your support. We need everything from you. Let's let's share the gospel through, through this movie. It's a very great movie. You guys will not afford to miss. No, we love you. Thanks a lot. And then once again, always pray for the ministry. Thank you. Mr. Femi, I like your movie, Kempe Sonu. And the thing that I learned from this movie is that you should not be deceived by people that are from the witchcraft that want to now say they want to accept Jesus. So they will use the power against you. So you have weaker power and the devil will win. So the thing I learned is that to not be deceived and ask them questions if they truly want to be accepted in Christ or they're doing that to deceive us. My name is Chaja Gidon Atoya and I love singing the song is Tamilo Robo. Good day, my name is Joshua Bamindele. Um, I'm here to talk about Kembe Sonu. 
Akembe Sonu season 1 to season 5 has been a wonderful movie, sincerely speaking. And you know, from, from season 1, you've been seeing several suspense, you've been seeing several lessons. You know, uh, the, the first thing, the first lesson I learned was one, uh, you should be able, as a child, you should be able to know the God that your parents are serving. You know, uh, being wrong, by the body, they were, they were there. They, they saw the, the attitude of their parents towards God and yet, you know, they never gave their life or they never uh, 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 yield themselves into this God that their parents are serving, you know. Uh, I remember there's a particular part where they were told to pray and they were saying, can you, can you, I, I know you can all remember that very part of that movie, you know. They were not able to really give understanding, you know. They, 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 their parents provided answers for their life and gave it to them as, as, a, as, as a mystery to them, you know. They didn't have the understanding of what each of those things entails. They were, they were not knowledgeable of who the God of their parents is. And you know, that particular part really caught my heart that... I should, uh, as, as a child, I should be able to understand if people are around me that have this knowledge of Jesus, that have this knowledge of God, and they are around me, I should be able to un have this understanding. What we need for our deliverance is, is embedded in the Word of God, is embedded in Jesus. You know, this is a big lesson uh, to uh, me and as well as uh, everybody out there. So uh, let me just stop there on uh, Kembe Sonu uh, season 1 to 5. And the victory... Uh, season five thank god for the victory you know let me just stop here let me just stop again but so if you've not watched uh, the movie please do well to go and see the movie uh, today or right now thank you so much i remain joshua Bambili. yeah i do have a wonderful time thank you um good evening brethren wherever you are across the world uh, my name is tunde Udu Shebe, and i'm making this video uh in response to our brother brother femi uh, asking us to send in our testimony or what we feel about the film or how it has, it has um, helped us or uh, grow our Christian belief. And for me, I can't say everything in 10 minutes, 2 minutes, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, thank you for the film. Thank you for the administration. The film really reminds me of uh, a lot of other films especially at the Jewy and uh, the rest of the initial films that we have watched in the Christian Dome before. I think uh, Kembe Sonu is uh, really, really a lot of, he has a lot of um, testimony, like a lot of things to encourage your faith and it has ministered to me in so many ways. And one of the ways that it has ministered to me especially was totally putting our faith in God, praying for our children, and also confessing the word of God with faith, no matter what the persecution is. I'll bring you into the film. When the parents of Binru and Padipo were praying and encouraging them, they didn't know the day of their persecution would come. But thank God that somehow they opened the back, and from their back, their salvation came. And it goes on. Just if God ministered to you uh, to search out your talent, I think from there you will go a long way to win souls to the Christian God. And one thing there is that we should not stop praying, even for unbelievers, because we don't know when and how God is going to touch them. But definitely, the Bible says in His time, He make all things beautiful. And so when it was the turn for Gladiball and Gero to become what they become, God used them powerfully. The second one I will quickly put in, in this session is the way uh, some of us combine tradition and culture alongside with our Christian faith. Uh, let's just uh, continue with them. No, if we have given our faith to Christ, then we should totally focus on him. Unlike the way Kembe Sonu himself was doing in the film, trying to combine Christianity with traditional belief. And we all see where it ended, until God find him out again. So that is another powerful side of the film that really ministered unto me. Conclusion of my comments, uh, 
I want to quickly bring in Deliver. And Deliver's part was very inspirational, especially when she returned to convince her mother to come and know the more powerful God that she has accepted. And in removing the powers, you know, sometimes when we want to, I feel very encouraged that she trusted God. And I think to me, that is very, very strong and very encouraging that as she was removing the worldly power, she was telling Jesus, I am removing this for you. Save me. And Christ save her. And uh, that comment of the God, the unseen God that does things that can be seen. Wow, that was very powerful for me. I had to put that on my status for some days. I mean, that was for me such a powerful comment. And I think uh, we should learn from the power that Delibai uh, Deliba, uh, saw and she gave her life you know, to Christ. I mean, when we tried a lot of things and it doesn't work, I mean, the only place, the only joy that had no sorrow is the joy that we have in Christ. And finally, to conclude this part, I want to say God bless the entire crew. God bless your ministry. And many congratulations to Brian Femi and my sister. May God bless your home. I pray God blessing upon you. And to the entire team, I say thank you for giving us the film. Can be so. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Tunde from the United Kingdom. God bless. What a wonderful ministration. What a wonderful movie. Hey! You see, when this movie was coming, the first episode, I, when I heard Kembe Son, I was like, a Christian movie, Kembe Son. What was the meaning of Kembe Son? I watched the first episode, I thought, this guy just wanted to make movie, you know, have a shape film. The second, the second episode, I was like, this thing is, is making sense. The third episode beat my imagination. I thought that was all. The fourth episode, the fifth episode, you see, I've learned something. That when God gives you a project, it may not look this neighbor at first. I tell you, it may not. But when you keep moving at it, when you are in a project, you just confirm, is, is God there? When he's there, then he lasts. The last. I, I, I got to understand that Ken Besono was just not a movie and, you know, a production. It is a message. I've learned a lot of things, you know. Again, in the in, in third episode, when Deliver was talking with Olori, I was like, eh, the problem she has was that Olori was last year, that is, our God doesn't have secret. I thought of it. it that, that word hit me so hard. I was like, eh, Holy Spirit does not have secret indeed. I tell you. The scripture says, the secret of the Lord is, is with those that fear him. Provided you fear him, then all the secret, the secret of the darkness, will be revealed to you. What a wonderful God we serve. What a marvelous God. Sir, I don't know how to pray for you, but I wish to see you soon. I don't know how to pray for you. Kembe Sonu is a ministration for all category. The youth, the children, the elder, brothers, sisters, everyone. Ah, you have not seen Kembe Sonu. You have not watched Kembe Sonu, my dear. Oh yeah. Alili, alili, alili. Go and watch Kembe Sonu and let God change your life with drama ministration. Sir, the Lord bless you. Continue. We are going there. As a matter of fact, we are even following. We are coming behind. The Lord bless. Can be some ah, Tamino Lobo. Hey, my dear, who shall see you? Kemesono has been a life-changing movie for me. It's more than a movie. It's more than a movie. It's more than a movie. I the, f well, the first time I heard of Kemesono, I was like, oh, is this Kemesono? What's the meaning of Kemesono? I wrote someone named movie Kemesono. But because of the way, because I loved um, Femme Adebile's film, and 
because we we are, we're actually from the same amount matter so i was like let me just watch even though i don't like the, the title let me just watch and the first season i watched wow it was massive it was mind-blowing this last episode oh my god this season five it was a blast it was a blast it really changed a lot it really changed my thinking like you see people giving their lives to Christ and they are doing wonders. People giving their lives to Christ and they are doing wonders. I was like, is this how it works? Like, is there something I'm yet to know about God? Because it really changed my thoughts. And this last word shocked me. The first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. It doesn't matter when you give your life to Christ. But are you announcing the power in the name of Jesus Christ? Okay, it really touched me. It really touched me. It really touched me. And I I I I make a promise that I make a promise. I made a promise to God that I will I will forever serve him. I made a promise to God. I will try all my best to evangelize. Let me start by first changing my name from Oyani to Jesuni Ademola Matthew. I must confess that of a truth I've been truly blessed by this movie series Kembe Sono, most especially the season five, where the efficacy of God's power was shown in several lives and several characters of the movie. But one thing blew my mind at the incidents where it was portrayed when Deliba was able to, you know, succeed in causing spiritual death in the life of Badebo. I must confess that I, it, it, it's, it's a scenario that so touched my heart and gave a deep insight to me concerning the state of man at, at, as at any point in time where we you know, fall short of God's glory in sin. And it gives a clear picture that man needs to understand that in the world that we live, we need to be spiritually sensitive and take time to understand the signals of the Lord in designing per time the craftiness of, of the devil. So, 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 I am also touched by the conversion of Bawumi, and it's, it portrays the word of the Lord in the scripture that. Those who make them are like them. Talking about idols, that they, they have eyes they cannot see, they have ears they cannot hear, they have mouth and they cannot speak. So it gives a, it gives a clear picture of what that scripture was talking about, that there is a supreme power and we must come to the knowledge of acceptance of such power so that we can then bet to realities, those possibilities that we have in Christ at salvation. You know, a, 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 a king study because i don't want to say just watch you know when you watch you might not really digest we, we, we should pay attention uh, you know christians should pay attention to every words in this particular movie it's it explains some deep revelations and portrays to us the supremacy of god in all ramifications that of a truth just like the word of the lord declares in the book of jeremiah 32 27 he said is is the lord of all flesh is there anything difficult for him to do so we could see that being portrayed in this movie and you know if these realities could be be happening you know we we should have this consciousness that this is beyond movie it's god speaking to us from this movie telling us that same realities are possible if only we could believe in him and work with him better i i must confess i am also in this campaign of what Baume said that issue and that's the campaign I want each and every one of us to begin to start. By the time we begin to flood even the media with, you know, this this new, it's, it's not new. It's God has been with this with with this positive, you know, um, mindsets like this. It will help believers come to their stand and help us, you know, hold on to the clarion call that this tax is not a tax for just one person. And I will conclude by saying that I trust God, if Jesus studies and is coming, to also be part of this great family so that we could do more 
for, for, for the kingdom's sake. And it is my prayer that having preached all of this, using every medium to, you know, to disseminate the gospels, I mean, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, may we not be found wanting at the end of our sojourn. By his grace, we also make heaven in the name of Jesus. God bless you really good, Rafemi Adebile. God bless your entire crew. God bless the Monzion theme. God bless every true Christian, every true believer over, uh, all over the world. I pray that the grace to stand firm, the Lord will release upon our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. My name is... Uh... Adeola Iwali from Lagos State, Nigeria. I've been watching Kembe Sonu from season one. I was actually introduced to a neighbor, a neighbor of mine while I was in Kwara State. She actually stated it on her WhatsApp status, talking about a movie that was not just an ordinary movie, but like I have to watch it. And ever since then, since that time that she talked about it, I've been watching it from season one. It gets to a time there was kind of break. I was like searching every day, almost every day, trying to watch if the next season is out. It is out and that's been of great impact. People like Kembeson have to know that there is no how you can serve God with Mammon. I actually learned a lot and my family members, anytime I tell them the next season is out, the next episode is out, they are always eager and you have been really blessed. More anointing, more option. You will not fail. The crew and the cast, you will not fail. You will not falter in Jesus' name. I so much appreciate God in the life of the family the Lord will uphold him and I'm very happy he's now married the Lord will uphold his family in Jesus name he will not fail in the name of Jesus hi everyone my name is Elibidi Rebecca my testimony concerning Kembe is Sonu now I have a sweet fellowship with Holy Spirit God revealed to me how the second coming will be also I found someone joy in preaching the gospel to anyone that come across me most especially now I have a new tone. Thanks to Fedus Baba, more inspiration. And please, if you haven't subscribed, do what to subscribe and comment below. Bye. Love you. Good day. I'm Grace from Imbado. Uh, Kemesono is a very powerful and interesting movie that has really blessed a lot of life. Yes, that really blessed a lot of life. I started watching the film, I think, last year. And I was really, really blessed through the film, through the movie. I was really blessed. It's a very powerful movie. And I know people was blessed too. My siblings, my parents, everybody that watched the film with me were very, very blessed. So, and I pray for Fetchos Baba that... The Lord will keep upholding you and the crew. I pray for you also. The Lord will keep upholding you in Jesus' name. Once again, thank you. The movie Kebesonu to me explains the ultimate power of God. When the power of God is in your life, you cannot fall, Yakata. So I pray for the ministry of Fredrick's Baba that God will continue to speak you. And the song Tabirubo. It's not my ring it. Thank you. Bye. Book of Nini and your daily Elijah. Uh, you know, Eli, she be moting wo. What you bat? You want to be me? Kama paro, kama jali. Gege bia sa yo la. Movie yi oda. Kinshi onkoti ofiye kenya ma wo. Before the very first day I watched this movie, I was like. Editing some funny part of it. It be Jesus. Go look I want to see movie too funny by. It. But when I sat down and watched the movie from season one, getting to this season, no. They have done a great job. 
Mr. Femi Adebili, no. More anointing. I pray for you. I'm too small to pray, but Monso Okio Kile Malo and Wale. If you tell it, my you will not be she. Eri, come away in Latin, or no more place for you. And for all the members that participated in this movie, you have done a great job. Ah, as she said, you have been a peer. I'm going to get you Seriously, movie inspired me. But the movie is a very good for this season two. You can see, seeing the title can be so new. The movie will be about the lady to come back early. Jennifer Dari, Francis, season to Paul or everything, or the new. But on the fateful day, or let me call you for solo, yeah. When you have me a doom, or what for me, why, this, yeah. I'm almost a young stop, a Christian movie, yeah, then, ah, oh, Christian movie can be some. Okay, let me try it. Literally speaking, Season two, Mokoko. King was season two. Tony, ah, no. No, I don't care. No, we hear your kaja. We got him. We got you. We believe you. Baby, money last lot download season one. Titi day season two. Ah, already me ago wa correct mo. If you want download the movie, you fool. You bit more like it. No, seriously, you have done a great job. We lost one book for me. Eh. More auction to function. Ogun if I say you need to buy it. Ogun it on. I need need back on it. Eh, when when she film that that's mobile. I'm film yeah yeah. When she share the scene, she share your magul. Eh, the man does not do. Ni abara lo. Jesus, Allah. Thank you for watching all the testimonies, and for everybody who could not send in their videos or who would. We are not able to use your videos we don't be offended we have to work with at least quality and for people who called us who for some reasons because of their job because of the kind of um, uh, uh, laws or oath that bind that job but they share the testimony with us who cannot record online for those reasons we appreciate you we thank you very very much thank you for your support thank you for your prayers god bless you